On the twelfth day of Christmas. No. Fourth. On the fourth <laughs> day of Christmas. My, my true, true love, love gave, gave to me. me. <laughs> my grandkids say, Grandma, you need singing lessons. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, we play with them with this. We showed them this game we play, and they say, "Why, would, why do you pull presents out of a sack?" <laughs> well, but they enjoyed it. They enjoyed it. Yes. Okay. Yesterday was the fifth day. I did not do a video yesterday, but I did pull out of my bag, and I got a funnel, which a funnel is always, always necessary in the kitchen. Okay, and I got dry erase markers. My kids, I have a dry erase board. They love dry erase markers. All right, so we are moving it to the... Today. To today, because today is the Thursday, the 21st, four days till Christmas. Oh, my goodness. It's All right. coming right at us, isn't it? It is. Okay, so what she does, she gets, she gets the pull from the Christmas bag. For, all, for those of you that uh, don't watch my channel all the time and don't know what we're doing, so here's our and Christmas I always go for the biggest one. The kids, when they pull, they go down to the bottom. If you've never seen us do this before, we've been doing this for years, on and off throughout our marriage. Oh my goodness! Wow, honey. Of course, she's never done it for me. But no, of course her. not. Isn't that nice? That is beautiful. So beautiful. Y'all look at that platter. <gasps> look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Look at the. Wow. Tell them what, what collection it's from, darling. Uh, Can you read that? Mikasa. Ooh, oh, yeah. Couture collection styled by Mikasa. Oh, my goodness. Y'all. Yeah, good. Now, the reason we're <laughs> sort of playing with, with the brand name on the back is because the other day. The other day, I pulled this one, a gorgeous, beautiful plate, but it came from the Dollar Tree. So, let me tell the story. Okay, you tell the story, baby. We pulled it out the other day, and it is quite beautiful and striking. That's the reason when I saw it in the store, I said, She's got to have I that. Love, I love pretty dishes. She likes to display her food after we cook it, you know, pretty stuff. Well, anyway, a lady. Uh, wrote in and asked, well, if I may ask, where did you get it? And so Rose read the question to me. I said, uh, tell her Marcus Newman. She said, Neiman. Roy Neiman. Neiman. Marcus, what now? Neiman Marcus. Neiman Marcus. Marcus Newman. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. It was funny. Anyway, uh, I said, tell her Newman Marcus. And she said, Roy, you can't do that. I said, well, if I tell her the truth, it ain't going to impress her at all. She said, well, we still have to tell the truth, don't we? I said, yeah. So, actually, it came from Dollar Store. Dollar Tree. Dollar mm -hmm. Tree. But it's not their regular stock stuff, and I have no idea how this, because their, most of their stuff, they didn't have a name on the back. This has Royal Norfolk on the back. But apparently, it must be some closeout that they got from a, bankrupt stores or something and got this in because it really is beautiful and just the time I saw it I knew it wasn't regular Dollar Tree. So I until. have two beautiful uh platters now. Now she'll, for she'll, me to display my food on. We'll always call that the the what? The Newman Marcus <laughs> <laughs> Forget it, honey. Just just the kid. What am I just what am I just You can tell we're Dollar Tree. Can I call it Maybe move up to uh, what's another store that maybe maybe <laughs> okay, this is belt. getting too long. We got to get on. Okay. <laughs> All right, pull, oh, girl. Oh, I get to do another. One. Oh yeah, you get two today. Three. Oh, don't talk to me unless I've had my coffee, y'all. You know you never have too many dish towels. Never ever in the kitchen. I probably put three or four a day in the washer where I, I cook because I cook a lot. And honey, I love this. The truth is, you don't talk to her a lot of times even if she's got her coffee. <laughs> okay, that wasn't funny. All right, that wasn't funny. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, oh I got to be nice. It's getting really, really near Christmas yeah, now. <laughs> right. The nice thing about it is on the 
on the day of Christmas, I don't have to give her anything. That's right. Because it's only the 12 days before Christmas. That's right. There you go. Oh, I get another one? Mm -hmm. Okay. Our, oh, coffee. This is my sugar-free Werther's. This is caramel coffee. Ooh. Oh. Now, this, I love this. I love the coffee. Thank you, baby. That well, is honey, so sweet. You are just welcome. Nah, that is so sweet. All right. We're doing a casserole today. I'll be back in a few minutes. And if y'all are going to see me with this little necklace on, and the reason is, most of what I wear is t-shirts. And if I put my microphone up here, it's really muffled. You have to put it away from your mouth. So the only thing I had was I have to wear this little necklace right here. And so I can hook my microphone to it so I'm not so muffled. But she doesn't so, want to stick pins through her shirt. No, 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 no. Mm -mm. This was the best thing we've come up with so far. But we'll be back in a few minutes when I start doing the casserole. I like your Christmas tree, Grandma. Thank you. With my microphone right in the middle of it. <laughs> Not noticeable. Oh, well, good, good. Okay, today we're going to do casserole. Uh, casseroles always go, go good on your holiday table. Uh, it's going to have ham, and it's going to have broccoli, cauliflower, carrot, celery, onion, sour cream, mayo, eggs. It's going to be gluten-free. Um uh, and I and cheese. That's what we're gonna put in it this morning. So I am just getting some cauliflower in a uh, bite-sized pieces. I have a head of cauliflower, so I took it out, and I'm going to steam it in my little Pampered Chef steamer here. I'm telling y'all, if you don't oh, have boy. one of yes, if y'all don't have one of these, they are wonderful. So I'm just cutting my. Don't y'all hate it when your cauliflower gets those little black specks on it? It doesn't go all the way through, but you have to cut them out. I hate, I, I don't like it when it does that. And that sometimes. Little, that little steamer would make a nice little gris, Christmas gift for wonderful, somebody that cooks. Wonderful, wonderful Christmas gift. Matter of fact, I have given them as Christmas gifts before. Uh, so, all right. Now, I am going to put about. I'll steam my cauliflower, then my broccoli, and then my carrots. Because carrots take a little bit longer than the broccoli. I will do the cauliflower like three minutes. And then I'll do my broccoli like three minutes. And then my carrots, I may have to steam them. I'm going to cut them really, really thin. But I still may have to steam them like uh, five minutes. So I put like one tablespoon of water in here. Put this lid on it. And steam it in my microwave for three minutes, and it's perfect. So, and I'll do my broccoli. And while all while I'm doing all this, I'll go ahead and get my sour cream, my mayo, my oh celery. We're doing celery. And I've shown y'all before how I string my celery, but there's maybe some out there watching that's never seen seen it done. And you always have to string celery. So you just take your knife and you go right up under. See all those strings right up under that very top layer there. And you string it. If you don't do this, you're going to have strings in your food. Then I turn it around to the other side. And I barely put it underneath there. And I get all those, those strings. And I'm going to cut this and just, I'm going to dice this just in little old bitty, little old bitty pieces. All right. I've already done this one. And I'm not going to put much celery, maybe a fourth of a cup. So half a cup of onion. So I'm about to steam all my vegetables, get all my other things measured out. And we'll be back. Did I say I'm Grandma Rose, I'm Rose from Grandma Rose up in pantry? Did I say that? I don't know. <laughs> Well, well, I think that's who you are. If I did, that's okay. If I didn't, I'm saying it now. So <laughs> just ignore it if I've already said it one time. All right. We'll be back in just a few minutes. I might need a bigger bowl. I wonder. Have you got them all steamed? 
I do. Mm-hmm. I do. Okay. But I might need a bigger bowl. We'll see, though. All right. I did my carrots like four minutes. I did my cauliflower three minutes. Now, when I steam my broccoli, I put my onions and my celery in with it because I wanted to give my onions and celery. I didn't want to put them in there raw. And instead of sauteing them on a different, in a different pan on the stove, I just put them in with my broccoli. Okay. That is so so neat to be able to just pop that in the microwave. I love this thing, y'all. I love it. You can get it in one quart, two quart, and three quart. This is a two quart. I use this one all, all the time. Okay, now, I have not salted any of my veggies, so I'm going to put about a teaspoon, a scant teaspoon of salt. Half a teaspoon, because this is a half a teaspoon measure. I'm going to, yeah, half a teaspoon of uh, pepper. And I'm going to do a half a teaspoon of garlic powder. Y'all know I always use garlic powder. And that was probably a third cup of celery and a half cup of onion that I, uh, that I steamed. All right. And it was probably a cup. Or about a cup and a half of cauliflower, half a cup of carrots, because I sliced them really thin, and about two, two and a half cups of broccoli. I put a little bit more broccoli than I did uh, cauliflower, and less carrots than I did cauliflower. So, all right. That's onion powder, garlic powder, salt, pepper. That's my seasonings. All right. Now. To this, I'm going to add, uh, I'm just kind of eyeballing this, not eyeballing it, just kind of as I go along, whatever I want to put in it. This is a third measuring cup. I'm going to put a third of sour cream. Now, if you don't like sour cream or you're dairy free, don't put the sour cream in it. Okay? It just makes it really creamy. All right, now I'm going to put, I'm going to start off with a third cup of mayo and see how creamy it is. I may add a little bit more mayo. Well, if you don't use the sour cream, I guess you dump the mayo. You dump anyway. the mayo. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, that's a third cup of mayo right there. All right, now I'm going to stir this up real good. And then I'm going to look and see how creamy it is, if I want to make it a little bit creamier. Okay, and I already tell, I, well, I may not. But don't steam your vegetables to where they tear all the pieces when you're stirring them up. You still want them to hold their shape. Because they're going to cook about 30 minutes in the oven. So, all right. I do want a little bit more Um. Uh, a little bit more creaminess than that, so I'm gonna put a little bit more mayo. Now, if you want to put a little bit more sour cream, that's up to you. My jar is almost empty, that's the reason I'm double dipping. So, with my sour cream and my mayo, okay, I think that's that's gonna be good right there. All right, so that was about two thirds cup of mayo and one third cup of sour cream. All right. Now, I've got two eggs. Is that the glue? Yes. It binds stuff together. Mm -hmm. Instead of putting breadcrumbs, cracker crumbs, uh, carb stuff. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Don't put carb or stuff gluten, in. Put gluten. Yeah. Or gluten stuff. Right. Yes. Then this is what's going to make it. Uh, it's going to be the binder in it. All right. I want to stir that up really well. Oh, looks good. I know it does. Now, this next step, you can leave it out, or you can use chicken, you can use uh, turkey, but I had some ham, I had baked a ham, and you know how you, when you slice your ham, I just got mayo on my, sour cream on my shirt, uh, when you slice a ham, you have these little end pieces and little giblets and things left. That's what this is. I had about, this is about a cup. So I said, well, you know what? I'm just going to put those in this casserole. 
And it normally adds it will, saltiness too, doesn't it? It does. So mm -hmm. you have to. So it will be. Don't over yeah. salt before you put ham in I something. said it will be delicious in this casserole. Mm -hmm. All right, Fresh sausage, I think, would be good in it. Too. Fresh sausage would be good. Smoked sausage would be good. Turkey, ham, mm -hmm. chicken. German sausage, Italian sausage. Whatever. What you like. Just whatever you want to put in yours. All right. Mm -hmm. Now, I have melted a half a stick of butter. And I'm pouring mm -hmm. some in there. And then I'm going to just go up the sides. Just so it'll be easy to clean. All right. Wipe my hands. I got all my veggies that I was cutting up back here. All right. Oh, shoot. Y'all, I was about to forget one of the most important things. Jeez. Now, if you're dairy free, you don't have to put the cheese in it. You can make it without the sour cream and you can make it without the cheese. And it will be delicious. So, I do have some that are dairy free. Uh, so this is about probably a cup of cheese. But I don't want to make it a cheesy casserole. I just want to have a little cheese in it. All right. Now I'm going to put it in my casserole dish. And I forgot to turn my oven on. I'm going to cook it on 350 for about 30 minutes because everything in it is done. We just need to melt the cheese and let all these flavors just uh, combine and and be and just it'll be just be real good. So, all right, get all this creaminess out. Now, here again, if you are not gluten free. You can, on, on top of it, you can crush Ritz crackers, you can crush saltines, you can put breadcrumbs, whatever you want to put on yours, but I'm just going to put cheese. And if you're uh, dairy free, then, uh, and not gluten free, you put the crackers over it, okay? Uh, now. I've got about another cup of cheese here. And this casserole dish is probably a, I think it's a seven by nine by seven. I think it's what it is. It's one I use all the time for us because uh, we just, I hardly ever make nine by 13. All right, Grandmama, that's enough cheese. Unless I'm going uh, to take it off or the whole family's coming. You could do a cheese commercial, so. you know it? Sure. I love cheese. <laughs> you put cheese across the side of it. All right, y'all. I just turned my oven on, so when it gets up to temp, I'm going to put this in it, and I'm going to cook it about 30 minutes. So we'll be back then. I want y'all to look at this. Mm -hmm. Now, we already cut a section out of it, but we're fixing to eat it. There's your fork, baby. Honey, it's got to be good if it looks this good. Mm -hmm. Y'all, healthy, gluten-free, wow, almost carb-free, but it's low-carb. Mm. Mm. If you've never made broccoli, cauliflower, carrot, celery, onion with ham, it's a whole, it takes it up to a whole different level. Well, this is the one that if you'll change Man. the meat from sausage to whatever, chicken to mm. beef, whatever you want to, you can just use this same basic uh, healthy casserole over and over again. Okay. Thank you all for joining me this morning. Food feeds the family, family feeds the heart, God feeds the soul. Put deliciousness back in healthy food. More that meat. is... More you eat, the better it gets. Bro. I know. That ham makes all the difference. <clears throat> Please share this video. Subscribe to my channel. Hit that little notification bell. We'll see y'all again maybe this afternoon, maybe in the morning. Y'all, four days to Christmas.